The topic of this evening's video is types of variables. Now, this is a really fundamental concept in experimental design and scientific design. Um, and so you might find that over the years, this is a video you actually want to come back to over and over again, just to refresh your memory. Um, for a very long time, lots of students get these types of variables confused and muddled up. So remember that you can always come back to this video and watch again if at any point through this year or any other year you find yourself confused. All right, first of all, what's a variable? A variable is a factor that might affect the outcome of an experiment. There are three types of variables. There are controlled variables, and these are factors that have to be kept the same every time you repeat your experiment. There are independent variables, and this is the factor that you change. You control how the independent variable changes. And finally, the dependent variable. And this factor has to be allowed to change, but without any help from you. You're going to measure it. For example, if we wanted to design an experiment to determine whether loud music was distracting, our independent variable, the factor that we are going to change intentionally, would be the volume of music. Our dependent variable, now there could be many of these depending how you chose to measure the level of distraction in your subject. But one example of a dependent variable might be how quickly a person can count backward from 20. So let's stop and think about it again. The independent variable is the volume of music. That means we're going to intentionally change how loud the music is as we work through our experiment. Our dependent variable is allowed to change, and this is just um, how quickly the person would count backward from 20. Now, there are lots of variables that might affect the outcome of this experiment and not allow us to conclude that the person became distracted because of the volume of the music, for example. We want to know if it's the volume of music that distracts people. So that means we would need to keep some things the same. Things like the song, the quality of the person's hearing, or the task that they're going to perform. So if we have one person count backward from 20 and a different person count backward from 100 by threes, those are two very different measures of, um, of how focused they are. And we might find that we don't get the same results because we haven't controlled the test that we're putting them through. So once again, your independent variable is the one that you change. You decide how it changes. The dependent variable is permitted to change. It's allowed to change. But you just let that do it all by itself with no help from you. And the controlled variables are constant variables that you you prevent from ever changing at all, no matter how many times you repeat the experiment. We are going to have a look at uh, many more examples in class together. In the meantime, watch the video again, copying down the notes, uh, and maybe have a think before you come into class next about um, an experiment that would allow you to give me some examples of the independent, dependent, and controlled variables. All right, that's it. Good night.